so far we have learned creating a user interface form we have also learned server side validation we also learned how to place these independent uh, how to place these portions independently this label this text box its validation messages but what we have missed so far is the client side validation this validation will occur in the browser through javascript and definitely it will be more responsive because there will be no time lag between the data that will be first posted to the server and then wait for the validation to occur this validation will be instant and let us see how to do it now this is our ui form that we have made so far the username story the phone number the validation here implements the annotations made on the model but this implementation is occurring entirely at the server side now our job is to ensure that these rules are implemented on the client side also for this we shall have to go to our layout file and include the necessary jquery javascript files first this is our this is our layout file that we have at present this marks the title this renders the css this adds the bundles for modernizer this modernizer is not related to our validation you will have to do extra study for this it is a third party library that you can use to increase your knowledge but you'll have to refer to third party sources there is a separate we dedicated website for modernizer another thing that i would like to tell you here is about knockout js also there is a similar library called knockout this is not part of this course you will have to do an independent study about these so at present coming back to this this is our render body tag this includes all the jquery bundles this is a section on scripts that you can mark in your layout if you have certain special scripts that you want to be included if you have a plugin and you want to include its scripts only on that layout only on that view page then you can mark this section then you can use this render section and mark that section as scripts so let me first clear about these doubts consider this screen suppose you have a view and on this view i am using a plugin a jquery plugin this plugin is shown only on this view and it is having its own script includes no definitely we don't want this script include to be done on all the all the layout on the, all the views we want these to appear only if this view is rendered so there is no point in putting this src in the layout file 